Hey guys, it's Ruby and it's time for another Las Vegas Buffet Review. We are at the Excalibur today to try their weekday brunch. Now it is $29 a person, but if you play My Vegas, you can get the buy one, get one coupon. So let's head on in and see if it is worth that price. grabbed our seats here at the Excalibur Buffet. Now we are MGM Gold, so they do have their own line, but the line wasn't very long. We were in pretty quick. So the buffet is open every single day from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. It is $29 on weekdays, and on weekends it only goes up about $3. However, of course, we used a My Vegas reward so that we could use the coupon and get buy one, get one free. So it was $17 for each of us. It's a really good price. Drinks are self-serve here as well, so we were able to grab all the drinks we like. I actually kind of prefer that, it's just easier. I am very hungry, so we're gonna see what they have to offer for breakfast first. Bacon, woo woo. Woo, I think they just put some. And then they've got scrambled eggs. Get some of those. Chicken and apple sausage, different kind of sausage. And then this one is a pork sausage. Like a classic breakfast sausage. And biscuits and gravy, sure. Can I open that with these? Yeah, look at that. And then, gravy, oh. Let's try, we'll try a waffle and a pancake, why not? And we'll dredge them both in syrup. Ooh, is it hot under that heat lamp? My goodness. Ooh, yum. Oh my gosh, these breakfast potatoes. These look really good, actually. Oh my gosh. Exciting. Let's grab a cinnamon roll. This little guy here, this looks delicious. Ooh, sticky. Oh, look at this breakfast pizza. Yes. I like the size of that, that looks good. Okay, we started with some breakfast options. Everything actually looked really nice and they were stocking it like as we were coming up. So that was great to see. I wanna start right away with this breakfast pizza that we grabbed. This looks so good. Let's give it a shot. That was a great start. So the pizza crust is kind of doughy, but it works really well for this. There's a very thin layer of pizza sauce, but then on top you have a bunch of toppings of the scrambled eggs and crumbly bacon, and then you have cheese, and it is good. Like, that is delicious. Very happy with that as a starting dish. I would absolutely eat that. Wow. Ooh, good start. Okay, these breakfast potatoes also look awesome, so let's give these a shot. I don't even want to keep reviewing, I just want to eat those. The breakfast potatoes are also delicious. So they have onions and peppers in here that they've sauteed the potatoes with. And it's giving a really excellent fresh kind of veggie flavor. They have seasoning on these. They don't have a, too much of a kick, but they're just really nicely seasoned and flavored with some seasoning salt on there, some pepper. Those are also really good. So both of these options were awesome. It's been such a long time since we were here at Excalibur Buffet. I don't remember what I felt about it, but those two things, I think we're off to a great start. Let's try the scrambled eggs here. Now I know there's gonna be no seasoning on these. I should probably put a little bit of salt, but let's just try them. Yeah, they're unseasoned. Um, that makes sense. They want people to do it themselves. These are also definitely here for like the kids that don't want to eat in the omelet. I always suggest you go and do the fresh omelet station instead of scrambled eggs. These are definitely like the mass prepared kind. They have that texture. They're not bad, like they serve their purpose, but I would go to that section. It's gonna be a lot better. So go grab an omelet if you want eggs. Okay, this bacon looks good. They had just brought this out. That's perfect bacon. It is like still chewy and kind of greasy but there's a ton of crunch there as well. That's that perfect medium. That is how I like my bacon to be. Still on that kind of greasy side, a lot of chew in it, but a crunch. Good bacon. 
I wasn't sure how similar to MGM Grand's buffet this was going to be. That I don't remember the breakfast pizza there, so I think there's going to be some different items. Uh, I do remember sausages. Let's try these. So they have a chicken one and a pork. The forks and the knives at these places are just like so hard to use. They have, they're so dull. Okay, let's try this. Not a big fan of that. Kind of hard to chew. It's like super, super tough. Like it had a thick skin on it, which is what you want from that type of sausage. But even the inside is very dense. I had trouble cutting it. I had trouble chewing it. Let's try the pork sausage. This is more of your typical breakfast sausage link. That one's better. It's got more of a snap to it. Definitely tastes like pork. Like I'm tasting real pork in that. So it's not some kind of like mystery meat in that one. Sausage is never my favorite. I prefer bacon, but if you're gonna choose between those two, the sausage one is definitely the better option. Try some biscuits and gravy. The biscuits look nice and fluffy. The gravy's really thick. See how it is? Not bad at all. I like the gravy. The gravy is kind of that sawmill gravy. I'm tasting seasonings in there. I'm tasting a little bit of a sausage that they've crumbled up inside. The biscuits are nice and light and fluffy, and I like how buttery they are. On this plate, really, I didn't care for the sausage or the scrambled eggs, but the other items were really good. The breakfast pizza and the potatoes, those were delicious. All right, let's try some sweet stuff from the breakfast section. We will try some pancakes here. They look nice and light. The syrup is like so thick that it's like gluing them to the plate. It is really, really sticky. Pancake is okay. I was expecting a little bit more. There's something to it that makes it kind of um, flat. It's not as light and fluffy and airy as I like my pancakes to be. And with the super, super gluey syrup, it's not the best. I generally prefer those over waffles, but these waffles look really nice and fluffy. So let's see how this is instead. So this is their waffle. Here we go. Mm -hmm. The waffle's better. But you know what, still, there's this like off texture to the batter that I'm getting. It's hard to explain, it's kind of like styrofoamy. They both kind of have that texture. It's not perfect, it's not light and fluffy. There's something not good going on there. I'm not very thrilled with either of those. Let's try the cinnamon roll. This looks really nice, it's like a little mini cinnamon roll. The icing has that very royal icingy flavor where you can tell it was just like a ton of powdered sugar. So you're getting just like an overwhelming powdered sugar flavor. The roll itself is okay, but they have been sitting. So it's got this kind of like hard dried out flavor to it because it's been sitting there and people haven't been grabbing them. Wasn't thrilled with any of these. I will say our first plate, if I had a huge heaping helping of breakfast potatoes, pizza and bacon, 17 bucks, you're almost there already. So with our coupon, I'm not um, unhappy, but we are gonna finish these off and then try another plate. Um, let's try the honey glazed ham. Thank you. And then I'll also try the um, roasted turkey. Beautiful. Okay, thank you. And then I'll just try the sweet Italian sausage. Thank you. Get some, get some gravy? Okay, I got it. How's that? Okay, um, this is egg migas. Looks like some tortilla in there, maybe. I'd also like to try some Spanish rice. It looks like they have more of our breakfast potatoes back there with some chorizo. That would be good, too. And borracha beans. Okay, let's do it. Sure. Okay, they have flour tortillas here and then some sort of meat. I'm gonna assume that's chicken, but it doesn't say. We will just have to guess. Looks like chicken to me. Put that on a taco there. It looks pretty good, actually. This is labeled pozole. I don't think it is. <laughs> it looks like a very delicious kind of beef meat here. I'm gonna get a little of this and just put that on the plate as well. Figure out what that is. They have some fix-ins here for the tacos. I'm gonna put some pico de gallo on my taco here, my mystery taco. On to carving meats, a section most of you are eagerly looking forward to. Okay, they had, they had some stuff there. There was a fair amount of options. I got the turkey and I actually put sauce on it for once. I usually don't. Um, it's falling apart really nice when I was cutting into it, so it looks like it's really moist. Let's give it a go. The turkey meat itself is actually really good. 
It's really soft. It's moist. It's coming apart in my mouth. The flavor is really nice. Nothing crazy, nothing overpowering, but it's just a very good, solid, like Thanksgiving turkey breast. I'm happy with that. The gravy is a little bit congealed, just a little. However, when we get our shots and things, stuff does have to sit, so that could be on us. You maybe have to eat it a little faster. The flavor of the gravy is good, though. It doesn't taste bad. Uh, let's try the ham next. So this was a honey glazed ham. Take pity on me with the cutting shots because uh, my knife is essentially useless. <laughs> let's try the ham. The ham's really good, too. Excellent texture on the ham. I can taste a little bit of sweetness from the honey glazing, but it does have that salty, briny taste to it as well. So it's a really well-rounded piece of meat. Both of those are good. I'm happy with those. Those are really nice. All right, let's try this I, sweet summer sausage. I just thought that was something a little different to try. Again, we know so sausage isn't my favorite kind of meat, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Let's see how it is. That's good. It almost has like a pickled gardenia pepper flavor in it, if that makes sense. There's a little bit of a vinegary acidity to the sausage. Um, the sweetness is coming from like a fennel flavor. I think I'm tasting that in there. That's good too. The texture's really nice. It's got a little bit of a snap from the casing. All three carving meats were good. I have no complaints. Honestly, very solid. We'll move on to the Latin section. I suspect things may go downhill from here. It didn't look incredibly appetizing, I'm not gonna lie, just the way that it was sitting out, but we will give it a shot anyway. So these are eggs migas. Someone will have to comment for me if you know like the difference between this and chilaquiles, because um, it looks like there's tortillas in here, which is how you make chilaquiles. So I don't know what the difference is, but let's give these a go. Flavor's nice. There's some uh, red pepper flavor. I get some onion flavor. The tortillas are mushy, but they're mixed in with the eggs, so that's kind of how they're supposed to be. Um, a little bit of a cilantro flavor in there as well, that's good. The scrambled egg texture here is off though. Like I said, it does taste like those like really like pre-prepared eggs. So that's kind of an off texture in the egg amigas, but the flavor's good. All right, Spanish rice, let's give this a go. The Spanish rice is not bad. Um, texturally, it's almost a little underdone, I would say, or it's drying out, one of the two. But the seasonings and the flavor are good. Like there's cumin and a little coriander in there. I can taste some red pepper. So not terrible. All right, let's try some of these beans. Those kind of taste like a can, a little bit. I kind of just taste a can. That's never happened to me on buffet before, actually. So I don't know what I'm tasting, but it tastes like they were in a can. <laughs> okay, moving on. Now this was labeled pozole, which confused me. There was a lot of liquid, but there was no hominy. Hominy is like the little balls of, I don't, they're kind of like water chestnuts inside of a pozole soup. If this was soup, it was basically just meat with like the broth. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm eating, but otherwise it just looks like an incredibly juicy bit of meat. Let's give it a shot. At first I was like, ooh, yum. Like a delicious kind of Spanish stew meat really great flavor there and it was kind of like stringy and falling apart but then as i was chewing it more and more and more it got to be where it was a little bit like tough like it's not just melting apart like it should be so whatever that was pozole or not okay the tacos were not labeled it did say they were flour tortillas and i think this is chicken i don't really know this plate is not wowing me if you haven't figured that out let's try this I'm primarily just tasting pico de gallo, which is fresh, so that's good. And flour tortilla, and the flour tortilla is also good. I'm not really getting a lot of the meat. When I did try to just try the meat, it's just kind of like spicy. I, I still quite can't identify what that is. I think it's chicken. Either way, this whole section for me was kind of a fail. I would skip. I think the carving meats were incredibly solid though. Uh, we will pick at all of this and then see what else there is. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll try a piece of sushi. I think that's tuna, I think. I don't even know why I'm grabbing two pieces. Just one will suffice. Um, fried rice, sure. And um, next to it, <laughs> it says scrambled eggs, <laughs> like it's lo mein. Um, a lot of stuff is really mislabeled. I'm having to kind of guess, you guys. Sorry about that. 
Okay, and um, bacon. <laughs> these are sesame balls. These are really good. We'll try one of these. Okay. All right, here's some very funny looking broccoli. It says broccoli. <laughs> these are rainbow carrots. They actually look really good, so I'm trying them. And then right next to them is a cavatappi alla vodka. Yeah, that looks like that's what that is. Looks good. Let's get a little of that. <laughs> uh, should we try mashed potatoes? I guess, sure. Ugh. Little clump of that. And macaroni and cheese, please. Boom. Wow. All right, this is a very random assortment of food. I'm gonna be honest, looking at selection, there's not as much as I was anticipating. There's not a lot to choose from. There's a lot of carbs here. So we did the Asian section and then kind of like American foods section, if you will. Um, we'll start with the Asian section and um, they, they did have sushi. Um, I know you guys want me to try it. This is the last video of mine you see, like you'll know what happened. So um, this looks rough, here we go. It's not good. I know you didn't think it was good. So we're just gonna move on, it's bad. Don't eat that, okay. Don't eat raw sushi at the Excalibur buffet, check. Let's move on. Ugh. The rice was like super, super vinegary, and then the fish, you can like taste too much of it, so you like know something's not right. Oh, not good, not good. Okay. <laughs> Let's do the rice. Also, sorry, nothing was labeled correctly, so I'm really guessing. This looks like a, like a char sweet pork fried rice. This rice is just a little overdone. It's not bad. It's, it's very soft, but the flavor is really nice. There's some green onion flavor in here. I can taste soy sauce. The meat, the little pork bits are not bad at all. And there's some like bean sprouts in here. So this is decent, it's all right. Let's try the noodles. This looks like a lo mein noodle. See how this is. Those are good. It tastes like, um, like Panda Express noodles. I would eat that. Nothing wrong with them at all. Not a whole lot of anything complex going on there. Very much um, Chinese restaurant lo mein, but good. I liked it. Okay, let's move on. These carrots looked so beautiful, like these beautiful tricolor carrots. You know it's bad if I'm grabbing carrots from the buffet, but they just looked good. I wanna like them. They didn't really season them. There's no seasoning on them. So there's like a little bit of oil. It's not even butter. There's like a little oil on them. They're cooked very nicely. They have like a really nice snap, but they're not raw. They're like that perfect level of done, but there's no flavor to them. So they're just, nicely cooked bland carrots, unfortunately. We're going downhill fast. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Let's move on. Oh, here, so we cut open the sesame ball like to get a shot of it and um, there's literally like a little bit of the paste like rolling around in there like it dried out. It's it's honestly, it's it's pretty tragic. Like that is, that is so bad. So um, that was a letdown. I really like those normally when they have that rich bean paste filling on the inside. Those are usually really good. Not here. Um, let's do some mashed potatoes. Mr. Ruby made fun of the clump of mashed potatoes I got, but I didn't want to get all stuffed up trying to finish mashed potatoes. Those are fine. Buttery, smooth. Those are good. I like them. Mm. Okay, those are good. So far we like the lo mein noodles and the um, mashed potatoes. I don't know if you're gonna get your money's worth eating those things, but they were good. Macaroni and cheese, this looks good. Let's see. Pasta's cooked nice. It's almost over al dente, but it's still good. Like it's it's not mushy. It, they're creamy, but I don't taste cheese. Like I just taste oil and like cream, like a milky creamy thing, but I don't taste any cheese. Like it, there's just nothing. They almost taste like buttered noodles, but they also need some salt. So no, I, they're gonna be a skip for me. Okay, pasta alla vodka. Don't let me down, here we go. Not bad, the pasta is overdone. So it's getting kind of gluey, it's overdone. Um, the vodka sauce does have flavor, it has kick. There's some heat there. Um, again, could use a little salt. So on this plate, <laughs> The lo mein noodles were solid. The mashed potato was solid. Everything else was fairly skippable. So um, 
we will move on from here and hope for better things. This is Mr. Ruby's favorite dessert. This is French silk pie, so we'll get one of those. And then these beautiful little cupcakes. Look at these. Here, I want this pink one. I don't know what flavor it is, but we're gonna find out. They have a huge dessert variety. Let's get um, this German chocolate and then maybe, um, let's grab this coconut cream. This looks good. The MGM resorts all kind of have a similar like dessert. I think they're all coming from the same place, honestly. Um, let's try this cute little cupcake. This looks adorable. It's pink. We'll see if it's like a strawberry. That would be ideal. Let's see. Oh, and also they had a big selection of gluten-free and sugar-free desserts. So there's something there for everybody. If you are eight years old, you are gonna absolutely love that. It is a very rich, like fake strawberry flavor with a super sugary frosting. The cake itself is moist. It's very artificial, but not in a bad way, in a way that like a kid or somebody who loves really, really sweet sweets would like. It wasn't bad, it's just more of that like faux flavor. It, I don't hate it. Let's try the German chocolate cake. One of my favorites. I make a really good German chocolate cake. Not bad. The topping is just sweet enough. It's the perfect level of sweetness. The cake is just moist enough and I'm getting a cocoa flavor. This one's not sickly sweet. It's, it's good. There's nothing wrong with it, it's good. Both of these desserts, it's like, they were okay. Nothing wrong with them. They're not amazing, but they were fine. Coconut cream pie, I kind of just grabbed guys. Didn't know what I was in the mood for. My appetite's kind of off. Let's try the coconut. I blame the sushi, you guys. That's good. I like the whipped cream they use in their pies. You can't taste the stabilizer. When you make mass amounts of like a whipped topping, you need a stabilizer in it. Sometimes you can taste it, you can't hear. So they did a good job. The coconut filling inside is very soft and delicate and creamy and light. And the crust is flaky and nice. That one was actually good. I liked that one. I would eat that. This is Mr. Ruby's favorite, so let's hope it doesn't let him down. I already know the whipped topping's gonna be good. So let's try it. Hopefully he can finish off his meal with some yummy dessert. Rich, creamy chocolate pudding in the middle. Flaky, nice crust. Beautiful whipped topping. That was really good too. The pies are always a good go-to at these buffets. The pies are always good. Cupcakes are good for kids. German chocolate was fine, but I'm gonna say that the coconut was probably my favorite. This one was good, so we are gonna finish up our desserts now. Just finished up here at Excalibur Buffet. Now credit where credit is due, the carving meats were really good, and I enjoyed a lot of the breakfast options. That being said, I would not pay full price for this one at $29. And even with the buy one, get one coupon, I just think there are more satisfying buffets you could try that have a little bit more variety. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. I hope it was helpful. I'll see you guys all in our next.